Hi everybody, this is Gavin on Scotty of All Trades channel. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to edit dialogue and add b-roll using uh, Microsoft Movie Maker. Uh, this is version 2012 build 16.4. Uh, this is the most update copy I have on the day that I'm shooting this tutorial. So back when Scotty and I first started this channel, uh, we use this pretty much exclusively to edit all of our videos, basically because it's free. Um, there's really no other advantage to it. It's uh, really difficult to use and it's definitely not as good as something like Adobe or uh, what I'm using now, um, a video pad. First thing you want to do is import that. Okay, so uh, this is just the medium shot of me talking with all my lines. And then I have a master shot of Scott and I both talking. We had uh, the scripts on the iPads. And then the medium shot of Scott talking. Hey, I'm planning on doing and a it consists, on how to edit. It consists of my lines and his lines. So the first thing you want to do is go through all of this and cut that up. Okay, so that's the end of my line. I kind of almost cut it off. So go up to video tools and split it. So this is the first section. And then... Sounds interesting. What do you want me to do? So that was Scott talking. So that's the end of his line. Uh, just get some video of us talking. So you basically want to do this for uh, all of your clips. You want to cut them down into the individual lines. It really helps having the scripts so you know where you want to cut. And then you can do all your uh, planning for the shots too and all your pre-production stuff. Okay, I cut up everything into individual lines. Now I'm ready to start editing everything together. The first thing you really need to do for a scene like this is to have an establishing shot. So this is the first shot of both of us that are talking. Hey, I'm planning on doing a tutorial on uh, cut. And it gives the audience uh, kind of a feel of what the setting is like. So it establishes everything. Down here on the gray part is the waveform of the talking. It, it can be really helpful to be able to see that. So what you want to do is go over and click on waveforms in the view. Uh, otherwise you won't see anything and uh, that can be a little bit difficult when you're trying to edit video in Microsoft. Okay, so I have my establishing shot. So it's going to be basically this line. So the next thing I want to do is get Scott talking. Uh, I want him to say, that's interesting, so what do you need me to do? So I'm going to find that and then it should be the second one. That's not interesting. What do you need me to do? So I'm going to bring that in and put that in the second part. So the next line is going to be me talking. I just need some tape of us talking. So I'm going to go find that in the medium shots, which should be... Sounds interesting. What do you want me to do? Uh, just get some video of us talking. Okay, so I'm going to put that behind that one. So I'm not deleting anything. I'm just kind of rearranging it to kind of get, to get what I want. Uh, well, I'm going to need the tripod, the camera, the microphone, and we should probably shoot out. Okay, so this, this shot is pretty much ruined by the wind. So we're going to look and see what the master shot looks like. Well, I need the tripod, the camera, the microphone, and uh, we're definitely going to have to do it outside so I don't have to set up any lights. Yeah, well, doing it outside means that you have wind, so you probably should have just set up lights. Anyway, um... We're just going to use the master shot because the audio for that sounds pretty good. So let's see how this. Well, I need the tripod. Yeah, that works a lot better. Okay, so the last line is going to be of Scott. Cool. So that is the, the it for him. That's his last line. And then at the end, if you notice. Uh, let me know when you're ready. He gets up to walk away. It's kind of cool to go back out to the uh, master shot and uh, see uh, him actually get up and leave. So, yeah, so we're going to put that at the end. Uh, for this last part where he's getting up to leave, we're just going to cut what we don't need and then delete it. So we kind of get this feeling of it was one continuous shot. And so. <laughs> It feels like it's one continuous shot, but you know it's not. So now that we know what we're going to use, we have the sequence, uh, we can start deleting everything. So at this point, your dialogue's pretty much edited. Everything's in stone. Well, I mean, not in stone. Nothing's in stone in film, but you have a good idea of what you want your sequence to look like. 
All right, so the next thing you want to do to add the B-roll is to go up to your menu and you want to save your movie, which actually kind of publishes it, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom. Like the last thing is audio only. So you're just going to publish audio only. I'm going to put this on my uh, desktop. And then we'll put um, sample vid audio. That oh, sounds good. Yeah, I know it already exists. I don't need that other one. Once it's published the audio, I'm going to go to record narration and then add sound. And this is going to put it in there as a narration instead of music. You still might want to add music depending on what your project is. And then uh, I want to mute all of the sound for all the clips. So I'm going to hold down shift and then I'm going to click on all of them. So they're all blue. They have that blue outline. And then I want to go to edit and then volume. And then I'm going to take that down to zero. Or no sound. Basically I'm muting everything. So this way the narration is uh, the only hey, thing I'm that's playing. That. Alright, well once you have uh, the audio file back in there, it should sync itself up if you just go to the front and then add it. All the uh, audio should be synced up with the lips. So now you want to add your b-roll in. So I have three shots that I want to add in. I have this uh, tripod shot. I have this mic shot and then I have this camera shot. You can see down in my script I say um, I'm going to need the tripod, the camera, and the microphone. So this is the b-roll that I'm going to add. Uh, it's not a great script. So I want to find where tripod, the camera. I actually say those things that I need to add in. So well, I need the tripod. So well I need and then it's going to clip to the tripod. So well I need the tripod. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go back. We can tell by the waveform that that's probably the word tripod. Okay, I want to split that, and then I want to end it at when I'm done saying tripod. So tripod. Boom. So this is that split. So I have this clip right here, which is 0.77 seconds. So I don't really need it anymore. So I can delete that. And then I have this tripod clip, which is 7 seconds. So in here, for my B-roll, I want to just make it 77 seconds. And then I'm going to put it in there. So I get this. Well, I need the tripod, the camera. Yeah, so you just kind of clip over to the tripod. And then the next thing I'm going to say is I need the camera. So we're going to... The camera. The so you can tell by the waveform that... This right here is the word camera, so I'm going to split that. Don't need that anymore, but I'm going to roll over, and it's 0.83 seconds. So delete that. <laughs> I'm going to make this 0.83 seconds, because this is just the camera. Okay. So this will be kind of the little Dude. sequence that I get. Well, I need the tripod, the camera, the microphone, and uh, we're definitely... Um, you really need to kind of know how long you want to hold these shots when you're editing the dialogue. This is also a good time when you have b-roll, it's always a good time to edit your sound uh, because you can cover up all those mistakes. Okay, so all your b-roll has been added, everything is synced up, uh, it's all good to go. Next thing you do is you just need to publish and you should have a finished product. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope this was informative. I hope you uh, learned a lot about uh, how to use Movie Maker, how to get creative with it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, be more than happy to answer them. And if you ask a really good one, I will probably make a video about it. Hey, I'm planning on doing a tutorial on uh, how to edit dialogue and add B-roll using Windows Media Maker. That sounds interesting. What do you need me to do? Uh, just get some video of us talking. What equipment will you use? Well, I need the tripod, the camera, the microphone, and uh, we're definitely going to have to do it outside so I don't have to set up any lights. Okay, cool. Well, uh, let me know when you're ready.